Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth Waitzig from Change Matrix. It's back to school time. I think every parent out there is probably really excited. I'm not sure all the students are. It actually got me thinking a little bit about what it was like to go back to school. And I know I've asked this question when I've been before groups of educators who are um, at this time of year thinking about how to make schools um, a better place for kids to be. And we had them talk about what it was like to remember their first day of school. And predictably, some people talked about the outfits they were gonna wear that they were all excited about. They talked about seeing their friends again after a summer. For some, however, they talked about feeling isolated or sad or lonely or actually worried about being in school and either being labeled as a discipline problem or, or struggling with some of the, of the kids who were challenging in their schools. Um, so we know that schools provide a range of opportunity and experience for different students in different places. And Change Matrix has been involved for the last four years in thinking about with schools, with districts, with states, with communities, how do we create environments in our schools that do the things they're supposed to do, like teach and help students achieve academically, but also pay attention to the entire child as they come into school, behaviorally, socially, emotionally, um, physically, as well as academically. Um, and how do we create environments that not only support our students, but also support our teachers? Um, we've noticed uh, in our last four years of working with Project AWARE that that's not as easy as it sounds. Um, many good ideas are not as easy to implement as they sound. And, Integrating mental health into schools is, is one of those things, and, and people react in lots of different ways. They have initiative fatigue, not another thing that's gonna go away in four or five years. Is this the, the flavor of the day? Is it going to intrude upon my way of teaching? Am I gonna lose my job? There are, there are ways in which people think about this that make this shift towards supporting the mental well-being, the emotional well-being of children really challenging. And so we noticed that there's a pattern um, and, and Change Matrix has been there to support some of the, the elements of that pattern and leading to shifts in the way that we think about the school's responsibility or the school's role in promoting social and emotional well-being. To begin with, many of these um, folks had to start with an infrastructure. Who were the champions? Who, were, who was going to be on their team to really think about what this could look like? Um, to and help engage other people to talk about it in their own agencies because we know not this can't be done by one agency alone. So building an infrastructure, building a team is often the first thing that folks set about doing. Second thing they do is think about who they need to engage. They need to engage leaders at the district level and leaders at the school building level and leaders within the community so that they can come together and really talk about what is it like now? What do we want it to be? and what's a, what are the potential paths to get there. And before I forget, perhaps the most important people at that table are students and parents um, and teachers, the people that are most affected by the kinds of changes that we're talking about. So infrastructure, engaging community, engaging people with lived experience, engaging the people who do the work, um, as well as leaders in the different agencies. And then we move on to planning. And so. Again, looking at a vision, looking at a mission, looking at some of the activities that it will take to get there. You know, we're working in Wyandotte County right now um, with, a, with a community that wants to become trauma-informed and resilience building. And they decided to really funnel a lot of their initial efforts um, into the school system because education was already on board with the idea of this. They have four different districts though. And so how do you create a community-wide approach when you have four different districts of varying size and varying demographics? One of the ideas was how do they become a learning community? So when one district goes through one door of training and um, workforce development and another district goes through another door of behavioral health liaisons and parent liaisons, how do they come together and learn from each other and enhance each other's work? Um, in the startup phase, we worked with the state of Indiana and their school mental health initiative. And one of the things that they did to make sure that they were engaging folks was gathering the champions, the people that were doing the work around the state of Indiana and thinking, 
could we put together the, the business case or the justification for this effort that we all agree to? Could we also put out a language that we all choose to speak, the terms that we want to use? Is it trauma-informed? Is it trauma-sensitive? Is it resilience building? What are the terms that we choose to use and how do we define them together? And that became a really important startup activity for the School Mental Health Initiative that they then used to engage other people. And Change Matrix was able to facilitate several of those meetings throughout the last year to help them with that effort and support them in that effort and offer a, a national perspective as they put together these documents um, in refining and, and, um, and finalizing them. Lastly, we have been working over the last year around leadership and we have noticed that when, when people pay attention to developing shared leadership, when people pay attention to not only developing that but engaging in the learning, thinking about how they will do things differently, thinking even about how they want to be different as individuals and agencies, integrating school mental health, partnering with the mental health authority, um, they've embarked on a year-long um, academy so that leaders from multiple agencies can come together and, and think together about how they will lead this collaborative effort. And they've dug deep into how they show up as individuals, how they will engage others in what we call a holding environment, how they will make sure that those voices are protected, and all of this within the context of looking at the looking, getting up on the balcony and looking out into the state of Wisconsin to see what's going on and see where the opportunities are and see where it gets hard. So we're really excited about that work. We know that Project Aware will be refunded, is being refunded as we speak, and that people will continue to take on this effort of planning for and building this really important change so that schools are taking a more active role in the emotional well-being of their students because it does affect learning, it does it affects their overall wellness, and ultimately it impacts their success, their trajectory in life. So we really get excited about that work and look forward to talking with any of you who might um, want to ask us for a little bit of support around school mental health. So thanks.